Welcome to Stephen's Cards. How is everyone? Is it hot enough on this Saturday? Some cleanup to do, some sorting to do. What's up, Sam Arnold? We say, Danny, Fox, Bama, and Kenny. How is everyone? Enjoying the weekend right in the middle of it? Trying to. Trying to. Went to the LCS today, picked up some cards. Got a couple in the mail. We're just pre-gaming. Apex has a pretty fun mixer lined up. Uh, he's going to be going live at 8 o'clock Eastern, so we're not going to be on for very long. We're going to open some cards, hang out for a little bit, talk shop, and then uh, I'm going to send everybody over to Apex at 8 o'clock. Trying to find a few top loaders to recycle in case we snag a couple nice hits. We'll be able to sleeve them right up. Per usual, I am waiting on a mail run for top loaders. Cards are coming in every day. Top loaders, not so much. Did get these buttes in the mail today. We'll have those available for the sale tomorrow. Couple nice Robert rookies. If you're fans of that sort of thing. Picked up some nice Kyle Lewis, courtesy of Bluegrass Sports Cards and Memorabilia. Thank you, Tim and Dwayne. Get me some inexpensive cards out of their discount bin today. I'll show you those in just a second. We'll probably need some more top loaders, and we'll take care of that, too. All at the uh, expense, unfortunately, of... Oscar Mercado, and we've got to pick one more, unfortunately, to, uh, let's see, let's see, who's not working out right now? Spencer Turnbull, here, coming out of Top Loaders, Mr. Turnbull. Keeping the cards in sleeves, just giving up the hard plastic. We've got some higher grade cards to put in there. Yeah, sure did, Kenny. Uh, as soon as I log off here, buddy, I will send you some pictures I took of Dwayne's Vintage and uh, some of his up-to-date and then some of Tim's uh, more current autographs, stuff like that. I sure did. Got some good pics for you guys. Uh, we talked briefly and previously about doing a live stream from out there, maybe selling some of their cards one afternoon, showing you all the shop and... Uh, putting their product in front of the camera on the channel. I think that'd be a pretty fun day. They've got a lot of different things, a lot of different things that you won't see here on the channel, obviously. I think that could make for a fun day. Let's see what all we got out there today. Again, guys, all this was in the discount bin. All of it was in the discount bin. Got a 2020. 35-year throwback, all-star judge. And it's numbered 99. Nice black border judge. And the red, white, and blue prism. Kyle Lewis. I like that parallel out of the uh, blasters, I believe. Might be mistaken there. One of the nice uh, 2020 Dondress. I like these now playing shimmers. Gavin Lux. What's up, Punk Fester? Hey, Ryan, how are you, buddy? And I see Andy, yo. And got some more Kyle Lewis Bowman. Picked up his big league. And picked up the base out of opening day. And 
found a Josh Stallmont Independence out of 76. Very nice card for Josh. And Chrome for Mr. J.J. Bladé, who I'm a fan of. And a nice pipeline from last year's Bowman Chrome with O. Pete Alonzo. Also has Andre Jimenez coming on and Anthony K, who is what now a Blue Jay? Blue Jay now? I believe we're seeing him. So thank you again to Bluegrass. Also, where I picked up the Series 2 Blaster and the uh, Optic Mega that will open here in just a second. We won't delay too long. And if you missed us last on the 2019 Panini Contenders Open right before the sale, picked up some nice autos here. Cracked Ice, Jackson Rutledge out of 23. This beauty right here, the Andrew Vaughn. That is one out of five in the blue. Very nice card. And we've got Josh Smith out of 15. And we've got Nick Lodolo. And I was looking to see Lodolo is not numbered. Just a base auto there. And looking to see if Aaron Shunks is numbered. But it is not as well. Base auto. So definitely landed some nice cards there. Had some nice show goes coming in the mail. But definitely uh, we'll have some more cards for you guys tomorrow. Uh, five o'clock Eastern is going to be the time tomorrow, guys. Um, Chasing Hits is going to kick it off. Uh, looks like RSR is going to follow. I'm going to follow RSR. And anybody that wants to take the slot after me, I have not seen anybody that I'm aware of. So uh, at least three of us back to back. I think we're going to get kicked off around uh, 12, 1 o'clock. Jason, if you're in here. Uh, let me do better than that. I've got a text. I'll make sure I get chasing hits time right. We were just in a group chat talking about it. So let me see. Let me see. Noon tomorrow, guys. Eastern, 11 o'clock central, noon Eastern for chasing hits. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what time Rob's going on with RSR. It's usually around two or three o'clock. Um, then five o'clock Eastern. I'll show you guys some cards for a couple hours. Uh, We'll plan on some 50 cent and dollar cards, so I will get plenty of rest and plan on being on for at least two, three hours tomorrow. We'll try to stretch it out just a little bit. Tonight you're in NASCAR's break with Danny and Gray, Cards and Toys. That's a wonderful channel. That was a wonderful channel. I do have some uh, Chrome on the way. Um, found it for a decent price. So just have to wait on the mail. We'll have some Chrome boxes to open for the upcoming week before next Thursday sale. And I'm sure Andy's mail will probably arrive with the lovely Chrome that he opened for me. It's looking pretty so far. Kyle Lewis and Robert cards are taking off like a rocket. I can see. So I figured we should get a series two blaster and a little bit of optic. We can chase those guys around, see what else we can find in the boxes before Apex gets started here in a little bit. Uncle Fester, are you doing all right? Oh, Danny, I'm not sure if you're having the iPhone problem. That was going on with me yesterday in channels. I had no explanation. They thought it was an, an issue with the, uh, with the iPhone app, but yep. I was running into that. Fox Bama's pulling for Chase Elliott. And without further ado, since we're just goofing off, let's open this blaster of Series 2 and see what we can find. Robert's always nice. Kyle Lewis is nice. Find any nice variations, any short prints. That McCutcheon's still selling pretty well. What is our medallion in here? The Series 2 the player medallions commemorative. Okay. 
Let's see what we got in here. How many packs? All right, four and seven. And the commemorative player medallion tops. Series two blaster. Thanks again to Bluegrass Sports Cards and Memorabilia. We won't waste much time. Tear into these. We got a optic mega to open as well. Just hanging out. If you guys have anything talk about any fun stories to tell be a great time all right here we go first pack jeff mathis wickren jan gomez reddick got jose ozuna ursula ringifo Got Sparkman, Ryu, and Barrett. Player of the Decade, Trout. Garcia and the Turkey Red. Charlie Blackman and Logan Webb, rookie. Not a bad start. Hard to catch the Robert in these, that's for sure. Was enjoying seeing everybody open their chrome last night. Some of the retail was stocked up. Some, like my local, was bare bones per usual. And we go Elfin and Yu Chang, Carlos Martinez, Dallas Keuchel, the wrong McCutcheon, Stroman. Perez, Khalifa, Dickerson, Bassett. Uh, oh, check this out. You guys seen these? Oh, let me get the. Come on, Logitech. Act like the $40 was worth it. There you go. Seen this Alonzo? That's pretty sharp. And it's numbered out of 299. Alone at the top. Three out of 299. Not a bad Alonzo. That's pretty sharp. Pretty sharp. Set that one aside. With Murphy and Strasburg to finish. Let's go ahead and get a sleeve on Pete at least. Let's set that one up. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Pack number three. Andy, let me take a look and see if it's anything special, and I'll make you a good deal on it. And Rowan Wick. Ha-ha! How about that, man? Come on, now. You take your vitamins and you say your prayers, little hulksters. Things like that happen for you. Come on, now. The man, the myth, the home run hitter whilst falling down, Mr. Robert. Lou Bob, 23 years old. Making things happen for the White Sox. How about it, man? Steven's card's keeping it hot. And we continue worthlessly because why would we go through these? We just hit the Lou Bob. The rest of these won't mean much, will they? How anticlimactic now. Four packs of this. Josh James. Billy McKinney. The Philly Special. Brewers. Brock Burke rookie in the commemorative Rangers. Joe Kelly's little baby. There's Dylan Cease. I like Cease. Turkey Red. 
and Garcia. Trevino. Not a bad pack at all. How do you complain? When you hit your Robert in the blaster. Very good. They'll be available tomorrow at the sale. And next pack. Let's go to Kayla. Kyle Garlic, rookie. Vince Velasquez. John Berdy, rookie. Paul DeYoung. D. Gordon. Brian Reynolds, gold cup. Classe. Ronnie Rodriguez. Someone's got a short print look to it. Probably not. Let's turn it upside down for the other cards to finish the other way. Come on, focus. You kidding? Uh, what's up with these? I've not seen these inserts. Have I just not opened up enough of these cards? That's cool. Not numbered. Making the cut. Set that one up there. Nice Alonzo inserts. I like those. And we go to McGuire for the turkey. Mark Malanson. Howie Kendrick. Diamond King. What's going on, buddy? How are you? Just catching up in the chat, making sure I'm not mixing anything. Already paid shipping on the box that we opened yesterday. Oh, okay. That'll make it easier to buy another spot if I need to. Fester says that's a Walmart insert set. Okay, so that's... I got you. Pretty cool insert set. I like that. I like it. Got the subway in the background. And Tatis is target. That's right. Okay. No, uh, that's not a chrome. We just pulled this one, Diamond King. If you're just joining us uh, just a couple packs ago, we did hit the paper on the Robert. And back at it with Mejia. And Robertson. And Zanino. Jose Rodriguez. Tim Lopez. TJ Zoik. Justice Sheffield, my man Lorenzen, get it together in the bullpen, Tigers, Diamondbacks, all right, got a Diaz Gold, and out of 2020, got Jim Tomei and the Turkey Red, I like that, Jerkson Profar, Judge in the New York state of mind. All right. A couple reg packs left. And the commemorative. All right. Back at it, Tommy. Dobnak. Mitch Keller. And Danny Mendick. Tony Kemp. Eduardo Escobar, Xander Bogarts, Manny Pena, Joe Musgrove, Marcelo Zuna, a Jeff McNeil, a 85 throwback, Jack Flaherty Turkey, Pujols, Shedlong. Thought we had Kyle Lewis. Malik Davis does it to me also on the Mariners when I pass his cards. I think I've struck a Lewis. All right. Last one out of the blaster for the base, and then we'll get into that commemorative medallion. All right. Maldonado. Jake Cave. Manny Margot. Steve Duggar. Nunez. Ryan Zimmerman. TJ Stewart. Darwin Zahn. Hernandez. 
the Marlins. A Bellinger home run. Nice. There's that Pete Alonzo insert. Hard times. <laughs> Remind me of Dusty Rhodes. All right. Turkey Red Harvey Rookie. Kyle Freeland. And Ruiz. Let's open a medallion. I've got to fill out some home run data. If you guys have your challenge cards, be sure and fill those out. One exclusive 2020 Tops Baseball Player Medallion card inside. What's up, Chachi? Good to see you, buddy. Apex sold out. That's how it happens. Good deal. <laughs> oh, look. It's Jose Altuve. He plays baseball for the Astros. I don't know what you want out of that. These are nice medallions. If it were somebody else, I would be plum giddy. But somebody out there loves him. And that is the blaster game. Not bad. Not bad. What's there to talk about but this cat? We got the Alonzo numbered. That's nice, but that's what it was all about. Found him in the chase, so let's see how our luck continues. We've got this Optic Mega. One auto on average says Don Russ's liability in case the autograph is not in there. But we're sure going to expect one. Uh, second one of these I've opened. One thing I'm a little disappointed with. I'll show you as we open here. The potato chip bag effect. Big old bag. Pack's just loot. I don't know if you can see with the light. Maybe hard. Let's try. Any better? Got it down in. May just be bad angle, but not much room, guys. Uh, just kidding. All kinds of room. Nothing but air in there. Packs are banging around a little bit. Hopefully, the corners will be okay, but we'll check them out and make sure. We've got four cards per pack in the optic. Save Eloy. One second, guys. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs of four cards in the base and these lovely parallels. Um, we'll save those for last. Kyle Lewis is the chase. Robert, I think Dominguez is in here, right? Should be one autograph. Let's see what we can find. If it's anything like the Panini we've been pulling, we'll get something decent. It's been good to us. All right. Starting off, we got Vladdy. Oh, nice. Prism Refractor offhand for Michael King. I already saw him behind it. Very nice. Rated prospect, Bobby Witt Jr. And Simeon, Diamond King. Good way to start. Pack number two, Optic Mega. And we go Raffy Devers. Looks like we got, oh, nice. If this is the hit, I will take this in a heartbeat just to make sure. We'll move into the back for a minute. And we've got Wade Boggs and Sean Murphy on the rookie. Let's go ahead and flip it. Make sure we're not disappointed. Hey, signature series, Helio Ramos. Not a bad one to hit in the mega, man. Not a bad one at all. Let's go ahead and get a sleeve on this auto. Giants up and comer. Very nice. 
and didn't want to hit it in one of the first packs. We wanted to save it for one of the last for a little drama, but that's all right. Quite all right. We'll have this bad boy in the sale available tomorrow. Let's keep with them. We've got more packs to open. We might find something else special. Never know. And we go with the shimmy. Johnny Cueto. Nice prism here. Masahiro Tanaka. And mythical insert. Very nice. Javi Baez. Should make Barry happy. And TJ Zoik on the rated rookie. Zoiks. And next pack. Here we go. Yoan Moncada. Mookie Betts. Nice refractor in the throwback to 86 for Barry Larkin. Oh, more Javi Baez, Barry. All star. Nice pack. Next up, we go Corey Kluber and Jose Barrios and Tony Gwynn in the 86. Brian Abreu in the rookie. Moving fast now, aren't we? Next pack. Cast and Hero. Eloy Jimenez. Ooh, Aaron Judge in the Mythical. And Bryce Harper, Diamond King. Judge has been on a tear. My man Castellanos from the Reds, not far behind him, though. Might catch him. Here we go. Two packs left. And we go Albert. Pujols, Matt Chapman, Jacob deGrom in the Illusions insert, and Danny Mendick. Last pack of the base coming up. See a good one on the back. We go Marte, Brian Anderson. <laughs> nice, nice. We got Sasugo in the rookie's base and Dylan Cease in the rated rookie. Nice pack there. I like Sasugo. Well, I said Simeon by himself there, but we want him and Vladdy. Vladdy's got to pick up the pace, doesn't he? We expect things out of that young man. All right, gang, let's get it going here. Here's your pack of parallels. These are pretty. This is that North Carolina blue here. You got Yoan Moncada and Mookie Betts and Rafi Devers and Mitch Haniger. Nice Brock Burke, rated rookie. Nice. Jake Rogers, rated rookie. Oof, nice Paul Goldschmidt. I like that. Diamond King in the blue. And Tyrone Taylor. Lots of rookies in that. I like that. We'll have those available for tomorrow. Those Carolina Blues are very, very sharp. Very, very sharp. So, autograph for Mr. Helio Ramos out of the Optic Mega. And Lou Bob from the Series 2 Blaster. How are we going to be mad about that, gang? We'll come together on a Saturday for a little pre-gaming for Apex and find ourselves with a Luis Robert, a nice auto for Ramos, and some great base cards, numbered Alonzo. Can't be mad, kids. How can you be mad? Uh, Diamond King, I'm going back. I'm going back. Let's see. Diamond King's asking a better product, Tops Chrome or Optic. Um, that is, to me, just the Coke and Pepsi preference question. Um, if you're more a fan of Tops, I think you'll find that you like the Chrome better. 
Um, fans of Panini are probably going to prefer Optic. Um, as far as quality goes, I'll, I haven't held this year's Chrome. Previous years, quality hasn't been an issue one way or the other. So I would say it all comes down to the licensing. I know everybody has their opinions on Panini's licensing, and I don't begrudge anyone's opinion on it either way. If you do not like it because they don't have the logos and the licensing, I blame you 0%, not one bit. Uh, how could I? It's what you're used to seeing your players in. Um, so I have no qualms when people say they don't like Panini strictly because they don't have the logos. Um uh, with Tops Chrome, um, maybe a knock on them is going to be the repetitive in uh, the sets that they have. We might see the uh, typical Tops collation uh, packs where there's only four per card. Uh, the same problems that arise in some of the Tops paper sets do pop themselves back up in the Chrome when you get fewer cards. So um, if that aspect doesn't bother you and you're a Tops fan, I think Chrome's your your ticket. Um, if the licensing doesn't bother you, I think you'll find Panini more in your wheelhouse. Uh, and honestly, that is only using metrics that I'm using. Um, the licensing doesn't bother me with Panini personally. Um, I like the artistry of their cards. I like the fact that they kind of have to try a little bit harder because they don't have the licensing. If that makes sense, you know what I mean? They've got to carve out their notch a little bit differently. So Maybe their artists are trying harder. Maybe they're trying in their graphic designs um, to put something together, whereas Tops knows um, they can rest on their laurels just a little bit with the licensing and play around with the artistry and photography a little bit. They've got a little bit more leeway where Panini doesn't. Um, they've got to hit their mark pretty much uh, more. Got to hit their mark more often than Tops, I'll say. Um, but all that to say, I mean, you've got Don Russ, you've got Bowman, uh, you've got all of these branches within the parent companies that can provide a card level at a price level for anyone these days. You know what I mean? You start at big league and opening day and the stickers on the top side. And then the Don Russ base uh, is still pretty inexpensive. It's a good entry point for kids or for anybody wanting to spend on the low end. And then it seems like both brands move up there and do it pretty evenly. They're, they're keeping pace there. I don't think any one of them outrun the other. Um, so all that to say, I don't think you can make a wrong choice between optic or Chrome. Um, it really just all depends on, on where your taste lies. They're both good cards, both great sets. Uh, pictures are good in them. The inserts are good. The, the variations are good. So uh, they're, they're both pretty solid sets from what I've seen. Apex, that's a fact. We're going to see it all in a minute, man. The magpie mixer coming up in about 25 minutes. Uh, if I get this wrong, Andy, you can stretch me on the rack, but two Optic Megas, uh, two Prism Megas, two Bowman Megas, two Chrome Blasters and a Cello. Sounds pretty fun. Sounds pretty fun. Guys, if you're not doing anything in 25 minutes, head over to Apex Cards. Watch us open some shiny cards. We've got a lot to open. It's full, but uh, I know Apex still has... Uh, some boxes, some packs that he'll open for you. I don't want to speak for him, but he'll do it. He'll do it. Unkfester says, Select is prettier than Topps Chrome to me, but Topps Auto is well more money. Now, that is a fact. Uh, general marketplace, Topps autographs uh, typically will demand more money. Uh, it's more recognized nationally or around the world. Uh, they're, they're, more, they're honestly more well-known. Um, yeah, tops will always outsell Don Russ on the face or Panini. Uh, just, I won't say they'll always do it, but for years and years and years, they have, when people talk about wanting a base card it's typically tops that they end up, uh, is what they're talking about. So, um, a little bit pill battle for Don Russ. I've loved the select this year. The select has been good to me though, guys. I, I can't say if I didn't pull such good cards of it my opinion wouldn't be so high, but we killed it in the select boxes. So I've got to give a little praise that way for him. Sounds like my two dogs back there picked out somebody to murder in the neighborhood. That's not good for the joggers once they pick someone out. 
They go relentless. They get out binoculars, start looking at them. It's uncomfortable. So, guys, if I haven't told you, noontime tomorrow, okay? Noontime tomorrow, get on Chasing Hits. After that, get ready to go to RSR. Get on Rob's channel at 5 o'clock. Come kick your feet up with me for a couple hours. Let me show you some cards. I'm not sure what's going on after that, but my gosh, that's uh, that's going to be at least six or seven hours of card sales and shows for you. Eight o'clock at Apex. Be there, be square. And with that, guys, I'm going to sign off, start sleeving these cards up, and get ready to kick my feet up and let Andy at Apex Cards uh, do the opening for us tonight. <laughs> yeah, Kenny, anybody that's been watching this channel is probably knowing that uh, if I don't build a shrine to Panini Select this year, they're probably going to get mad at me. It's been the bread and butter, but hey, I've got Chrome on the way, and they're getting squeezed out now, so it's time for new sets and new boxes, so we'll keep it fresh if nothing else. Doesn't mean I won't go back and buy a Select box, but we'll do the other stuff too. Guys, I'll see y'all, man. Uh, 8 o'clock at Apex. Uh, 12 o'clock tomorrow, chasing hits, uh, about two or three for RSR. We'll hammer that down five o'clock back at Steven's cards. Uh, if I don't see you on the lives, y'all take care and have a good evening. Bye-bye.